What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of A Legend in the Making. Today we have got the much demanded John Terry. Um, John Terry for me guys is one of those people that I love to hate but I also love as well. Um, he, he's got a weird characteristic about him, he is very very passionate about his game but he's sometimes more known for his off-the-field antics than for his on-the-field abilities. And that's a shame in a player when, when they let their personal lives overshadow their, their professional careers. And I think that's happened with John Terry on more than one occasion, which is a shame. Now, before we get into the video properly, guys, if you want to purchase any FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check out the footshop.com. Their link is in the description below, a very fast and reliable service. And if you use the discount code NEPO at checkout, you'll get a discount on your coins. So, um, John Terry has pretty much spent his entire career at Chelsea. He only... Uh, shied away from Chelsea for one loan spell where he went to Nottingham Forest for a season and only played six games but for Chelsea he has 611 appearances with 57 goals not bad for a centre-back that's almost one in ten games that's that's re remarkable for a centre-back um, and he's got 78 appearances for England with six goals as well. He has won the Premier League three times, the FA Cup five times, the Champions League one time, and uh, unfortunately was in the final of the Champions League where things didn't go so well for him and lost on penalties to Man United. He won the Europa League one time, the UEFA Team of the Year he has been in four times, and he won the PFA Player of the Year one time. Now, I've given John Terry two-star skill moves and a three-star weak foot. Um, John Terry, for me, is... Like I said, he's a die-hard football player. He's one of those guys, no nonsense, you know, that's what I'm trying to trying to say. He, he's, he doesn't have much about his game other than defending, which is all you really need from a centre-back and all you really want from a centre-back. Um, but, you know, there's some centre-backs like PK. You know, sometimes PK gets up the field, he plays nice uh, possession football with Barcelona. I've seen him score some uh, like bicycle kick once. You know, he, he gets in there, he, he gets about the field a bit. John Terry is just a centre-back's centre-back. He is an old-school centre-back. He is just always in the heart of the defence, defending. He's a, he's a great leader, and I think he leads teams very well. Now, before we look at his FIFA cards, guys... The ratings I give these players, 88s, 90s, 94s, or whatever, take them with a pinch of salt. It's more about the actual stats. Like, the ratings are neither here nor there. They're, they're based largely on my opinion and my thoughts of the player. Um, so that it might not reflect how how you see them and how you find them and, and how you would base their values in the game. It's, it's about how I would base their values in the game. And I've given John Terry a 90 rating. Now, he does have uh, two in form so far this, this year's FIFA. And um, they, they're, they're actually decent cards, if only he did have a bit more pace but for my legend card guys I've given him 65 pace which I think is about the max that you can really give John Terry he's never been known about being fast like I say he, he's a leader he's always in the right positions he defends wholeheartedly and that's what he's known for with that 93 defending and 92 heading I've only given him 50 shooting like I said he has scored like almost 60 goals he does almost have like 1 in 10 uh, goal to game ratio which is great but that is because of his heading from free kicks and corners when he's attacking as a centre back rather than his actual feet shooting abilities I've given him 68 passing and 55 dribbling but like I say his defending and heading is really what's important now I know EA really like to over exaggerate how good some of the legends were like some of the guys have got like 96 and well, well not 96 but um, like hot, you know low to mid 90s for defending and heading when I don't think that's really fair on them but I think this is a very fair um, look at John Terry with 93 defending and 92 heading as always though guys if you do disagree let me know in the comment section below uh, what you would have as John Terry stats. It's always interesting to see how you guys would rate him as well. But this is going to be the end of the video, guys. So thank you as always for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.